So joining me now is Craig Rucker from CFACT. You're a new face to, I think, at least the gun show viewers. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about CFACT, um, what your focus is. I understand from some of the media coverage about CFACT that you guys are evil climate deniers. Ooh, uh, we don't like to look at, we call ourselves climate realists. Uh, but yes, we are an organization that's been around since 1985. We work on issues of environment and development. We have several programs that have made us, given us some notoriety. One of them is we run Mark Morano's Climate Depot News and Information Service. Oh, I hear he's evil. Ah, yeah. <laughs> On an individual level at times. No, he's actually a, a very likable guy. Yeah. And um, anyway, so we do call out the truth when the UN uh, shouts climate alarm. We try to set them straight. We also work in colleges and universities, have a collegians program. Our ultimate aim is to try to win back the environmental movement for those who are libertarian, free market, conservatives. We think it's been hijacked by those on the left, uh, and we would like to see it return properly to our side of the uh, political spectrum. Now, you are here in Red Deer, um, so you're in the heart of, I guess, Canada's Texas. Are we as gross and disgusting here as the uh, environmentalist movement would have you believe? Like, is it as dirty and gross here as the Greta Thunbergs of the world would have you believe Alberta is? No, je pense uh, Alberta est une très belle Provence. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not... Yeah, we don't back. speak... No, okay, ex no, no, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I know Canada enough to know you don't speak French, but couldn't resist. <laughs> anyway, no, I um, I think uh, Alberta is our he superhero province. In fact, if you ever did wind up wanting to secede from Canada, welcome to the United States. I mean, I'd love to have you, but uh, yes, it's like the Texas of the United States. The people I meet here and I've gotten to know here uh, really could fit in anywhere in the Midwest in the United States in terms of their political philosophy, just their way they live. It's yeah. great. Well, and that's, uh, it's funny because uh, we are at a, a conference where, you know, people are discussing what going forward in Canada looks like for Alberta. And I, that's my number one argument is that our economic troubles stem from our cultural divide from the rest of the country. I think we're more culturally aligned with our friends to the south, to the south of us with regard to um, issues of climate change, gun rights, um, uh, how our economy is built. So Alberta, largely agricultural, petrochemical, and uh, the rest of the country looks down on those things. There's mm. a huge cultural divide. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's great to hear an American say, you know, we're very much like you because oh, yeah. as a Canadian, I feel like I'm very much like you and not at all like a Torontonian. With, with, a, with a few things, eh? Uh, I do think that you, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there are a couple things that maybe language-wise are a little different. But no, on balance, uh, I think you are correct. I think that really you uh, culturally are very similar. I don't feel a whole lot different yeah. when I visit Alberta than I do in visiting many of the American uh, states uh, that are conservative. Uh, I would say that the um, one personality quirk that I uh, was talking about was the uh, well of course you like hockey as opposed to baseball and football and that sort of things we like hockey too more regionally but I would say the other thing is is the uh, temperament uh, when I first came here a few years ago and I've been invited to about four or five conferences si since I was saying you know you guys got to fight you guys got to be a little bit more like Trump I guess you could say in your face get it get down you know the way you are Sheila yeah. when you yeah. want to uh, yeah. exactly but uh, now when I come back, and I was just invited to this, now they're talking about quitting Canada entirely and going, uh, becoming their own sovereign state. It's almost like they took my advice and went, wow, I was impressed. You guys really took this very far. Now you want to secede. <laughs> so yeah. I said, uh, but I do like the attitude, the sass. I think that this is good. You're feeling your oats here, and uh, whether or not they succeed in that, you know, to me is less important than the fact that you are not putting up with it anymore. That's an excerpt from my weekly show, The Gun Show. It's an interview-based show that I do every Wednesday night where I talk to conservative journalists, filmmakers, activists, even citizen newsmakers. However, the show is only available to our premium subscribers, but it's easy enough to subscribe. Just go to premium.rebelnews.com.